Hey, how's it going? I'm Kenton Duty, and I love rockforevermagazine.com. It's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and today I am hanging out with Kenton Duty from Shake It Up. Hey, How are up? you? I'm pretty good. I'm How pretty much good. is up? Just chilling at Starbucks. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Starbucks, yeah. Very nice. So since you are so amazing at your accent, I thought we'd try out a few others, see how you do. All right, let's Check do out your talent. So I thought we'd start off a little easy, a French accent. <laughs> well, you know, when you go to France, you, you have to find the perfect person to do it with. There you have it. I'd, I'd say that was pretty okay. decent. So now the challenging one, right. Chinese accent. Ni hao king hao, do no. Oh no more, deep at all. I'm pretty sure you lived in China in like a past life or something, because that was... I spoke Mandarin Chinese when I was in elementary school. No way, really? Yeah. See, I just learned Spanish. I just went the easy way, you know. I learned Spanish now, oh. but I completely forgot Chinese other than ni hao and xie xie, <laughs> which means hi and thank you. Well, I guess that's kind of useful if you ever go to China. Just Hola. That's all I got. So <laughs> you're a little better off than me. Right, cool. So we got our southern accent. Well, you know, when you go down to my home in Texas, you, you'll find my uncle. His name is uh, Uncle David. He's my dad's uncle, and uh, he, he talks with a very thick southern accent. Partner. That was just perfect. Yes. He says so. Perfect. Way better than me, I'd say. So what kind of accent does Gunther have on the show? So Gunther has a German mixed with Russian, and then for the, his lilt when he gets really excited, it's Italian and Irish. What? Yes. <laughs> How in the world did you come up with that? Well, my, my parents tell me I'm very special. <laughs> I, don't, I sometimes don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Oh, well, I think in this case it's pretty good because your character's amazing, and I'd say my favorite line would have to be the whole, hey, baby, thing. Hello, baby. That was so good. That was so good. I've been waiting the whole day just for that. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I, I wait the whole day for someone to ask me to say it. I See, if I were you, I would just walk up to random people in, like, a food court or something and just be like, hey, baby, and see. I have done that before with, what? like, my group of guy friends. How did that work out for you? <laughs> so, cause I, and because I said it so loud, the whole food court just turned. Really? Yes. It must have been a very small food court. Or you were very loud. Very, very loud. I was very loud and it echoed. Ooh. Everybody's like, you see one guy like has a, half a pretzel in his mouth. <laughs> That's talent right there, I'd say. Right what? Shake it up on Disney. <laughs> well, as soon as you have their attention, you got to put it to good use, right? Exactly. So how did you first get involved in acting? Well, in, uh, I believe, third grade, I was doing PowerPoint presentations in front of my like honors class. So I had to learn how to, my parents wanted to make sure that I was okay with being in front of my peers yeah. and no pressure, being able to project. A bus just came by. Projecting is useful. Projecting is very useful. Uh, projecting and you know, just basically being yeah. able to, you know, be in front of an audience. So exactly. my dad put me in a theater camp over the summer and I, I loved it. I felt, I really did fall in love with it. And the director of that camp was also the casting director for the whole oh, wow. Dallas Theater Center. She said, hey, could, would you mind auditioning for A Christmas Carol? Oh. And so I went and I auditioned. I had no idea what a headshot nor resume was. We took in a Polaroid oh. because they, they, she came out and took a Polaroid at me. And my dad wrote, came to your theater camp type thing on the back. And I walked in and I did, I did a song. Yes. I believe I did like Ode to Joy or something. I don't really remember what, oh. but that was the beginning. Out. And then, you know, 36 performances between Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve yes. later. Then I did another ragtime next year, and then I ended up coming out here. Yes, after all of that, you are here on Shake It Up right now. So uh, what was your reaction when you first got the part? Well, my family, we do this little thing called, like, the Cabbage Patch. So my mom and I, or no, my dad and I called my mom, got everybody on speakerphone, and uh, I was jumping up and down on my bed while doing it, and my dad was just standing there while doing it, and then I, we just heard my sisters going crazy. Oh my gosh. Because they, they and I watch Disney all the time, yeah. so it was just sort of a dream come true that now they have an excuse just to watch TV for hours on end. Yes. You know, I'd be like, oh yeah, so I gotta watch TV just because I have to support my brother, you know? Exactly. 
So it's a very good excuse. Very great. Yes. Yeah. So have you had any like really interesting moments on set? Because I know you all must be very energetic in between takes with all the dancing and everything going down. I'm the one, I, I, I am a lot energetic a lot of the time, but I'm the one who will just sit down, relax, watch my fellow you know castmates just go crazy just take it all in just, just enjoy it it's a free show right? right exactly exactly so what do you do when you're not filming on set i usually eat, i eat, well bella always wants us to all eat lunch in her room so it's always like a big family like luncheon thing yeah. we turn on the tv you know either like travel or disney or something yeah. and just sit there and we'll talk with that in the background as the ambiance or i'll go and eat in my room and take a nap Oh, well, naps are always very helpful. Naps are great, especially, I, I want, for our season premiere episode, that, that was a, um, a, a bank awesome. truck, um, but for our season premiere episode, I was exhausted. So what I did is I ate lunch and I took a 12 minute power nap. I had so much energy <laughs> after that. Everybody's like, what did you, do? like, they thought I literally, like, just chugged sugar all, all, like, for our full hour of lunch. And I'm like, no, 12 minute power nap, 12 minute power nap. <laughs> I was just like going crazy, <laughs> and they're like, "Okay, put him on. Let's let's get him on screen and get him out of here now." See, I would be a little worried if I saw you after your 12-minute power nap. Yes. I was. I had so much energy. I, I now I know why I loved napping when I was a oh, child. Yeah. Because you get like it's like a whole new day. You're ready to go. Yes, for sure. And so you do have all of those uh, dance choreography, everything yes. going down. So were you a dancer before the show? I was what you call a two a two left foot kind of guy, like literally tripping over my own two feet trying to you know do the choreography. But no, no, I was not. I learned how to dance on the show. But now I do hip hop, and I also am a b boy, or yeah. as it's commercially called, I do break dance. Oh. So, yeah. Now, what do you do? Like, how do you prepare for like memorizing a dance number? Practice, practice, practice. I, I mean. I train. I train night and day. I train all the time. I work out now a lot, a lot, just to help myself, like condition, to be able to dance and do break dancing and stuff like that. So, it's just a lot of practice. Yes, and it's been working out for you. I mean, everyone is an amazing dancer on the show, and it's so energetic every every time. And you do have some uh, dance groups coming up on the show too, right? That guest star. We do. We have we have some we have some coming up, but we also like in our season finale of season one, yes. it's one of the I think one of our best like dance routines that is you know like for, for our like crew like the mm -hmm. shake it up crew I think it's one of the best ones we've done so far and but then the season one or season two opener we're gonna glow your mind glow my mind glow your mind that's all I can say I am waiting just waiting for this I'm so excited so if you have anybody guest star any dancer any singer anything who would it be We've had so many people guest star, but I, I would like uh, Cody Simpson to guest star because he's yes. a really good dancer, and uh, he taught me how to cat daddy. And then he went and taught Bella how to cat daddy. After Wait, what is that exactly? It's um here I'll show you. <laughs> so you, you put your hands here and then you just go down. <laughs> Whoa! And that's a simple way of doing it without a beat. But yeah, so he taught us how to cat daddy, and I, I think it'd be fun to have him like sort of like lead the like our, our troop of dancers because I think that would be like a cool little thing like have him singing and stuff or something yeah no for sure I would love to see Cody Simpson too that'd be very fun and I know you guys are good friends too right yeah yeah we yes. hang out yes you hang out and so uh do you think you'd ever get into music maybe perhaps I actually I'm I'm doing my I'm doing music right now I've got nine songs written uh eight of them are recorded waiting to get for a producer to come back from his hometown to get back out here so we can record the final one. And I'm just right now waiting to hear back from the record company. Very cool. So do you think maybe there'll be an album or a single or? Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I mean, there, there will be. I just hope that it will come sooner than later. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I would love to see some music from you. And so if you could change the storyline of Shake It Up for anything to happen, what would you want to happen to your character, Gunther? I really like to explore um, more what like him with the guys, like like, and the yeah. guys actually treating him like a guy. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like to explore that avenue because I think I think he's always with the girls, yeah. like the three girls that you don't really get to see him with with just the guys. Yeah. So I'd like to explore that avenue. Wasn't there that one episode where you were trying to be cool? Yes. How did that? Uh, I, I, that that like that's what I mean. Like just actually explore that a bit more yeah. and just see what um what Gunther really is underneath all that sparkle. Yes. Well, lots of sparkle. I mean, lots of sparkle. And as we saw with um, Adam's failure to beat him, <laughs> lots of guns. 
Yes. And more so now because I've been training. Training, yes. So what else is coming up on the show? Season two is rolling around. So much, so much. I can't. I haven't seen this latest episode that we that they've been rehearsing, but I'm gonna see that tonight, and I can't wait to see it because I love going and supporting the show even when I'm not in the episode. Yeah. I go to every live audience, and I I, I want to keep to that. But um, I, I there's so much coming up that I've heard rumors about, so I don't know if they're true, so I don't want to like uh, throw it out there. But there's so much coming out. I I think they really are trying to explore the characters and you know the relationships and everything. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun. And there's definitely plenty to experiment with with Gunther, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gunther, I mean, we, we really have only seen him in one in one light yeah. other than, you know, that one episode. So I think that would be fun to experiment with. And how do you feel about that comparison to, you know, Sharpay and Ryan? All I have to say is Gunther is only once worn a fedora. And uh, they don't have our accents. Well, that's very true. The accents are just everything. Yeah, I mean, it's I'm so perfect. Than, uh, Lucas. Well, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> all is good well on that note can't wait to see the upcoming episodes and make sure you watch shake it up if you haven't watched it yet it's an amazing show and we will see you next time oh yeah